Music and film go hand in hand. Some of the greatest films of our time were propelled into such excellence by their use of shifting and dynamic musical choices. Something about a certain scene, mood, and aesthetic connects in our brains when it's paired with sound. The way great directors artistically craft the audio choices of a film to be set up in certain ways, follow certain moments, and engage directly with the character on screen is usually a major part of every good film. We need music to fill the void in sound when certain events are unfolding on screen. Picture one of your favorite film sequences, and then negate the music in the background. It probably won't be as good as you once thought. Then, No Country for Old Men came out. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir? The most you ever lost on a coin toss. I don't know, I couldn't say. The 2007 neo-western epic set in 1980s Texas and based off the 2005 novel narrates the story of a man named Lowland Moss, who one day comes across the scene of a drug deal that went south. He finds a briefcase filled with two million dollars in cash, which he takes and leaves the scene. However, as he's leaving, an injured man on site begs him for water, which he ignores. He returns the next day though, feeling bad, to bring the man some water when he finds out that he's now dead, and a pair of suspicious men in a truck begin to chase him down. We are then reintroduced to a hitman by the name of Anton Chigurh, who we saw in the film's opening. I'll be breaking down the opening scene later on in this video. Chigurh is a cold-hearted and murderous character who seems to strictly follow one main directive at a time. The rest of the film consists of a wild and vicious chase between the hitman and Lolan as he tries to recover the stolen briefcase from the unsuspecting hunter. If you watch the film, the first thing you'll notice upon its opening scene is that there is no music, no background tune, nothing. There's silence, which is then replaced by the noise of desert winds in the background. It's a very strange opening and it sets a silent but gruesome tone for the rest of the film. The rest of the opening scene consists of this same tone of violence as Chigurh manages to escape police custody by strangling an officer to death and stealing a car later down the road. While it's certainly a shocking way to start a film, it's emboldened further by the lack of any music. It makes it feel realistic and much more immersive. However, all the same, it makes you feel isolated. It's like you as the viewer are alone watching horrible events unfold on screen, which are then immediately passed over. Something about the lack of any music makes it feel much darker and much more serious. A thriller-like suspenseful soundtrack playing in the background may have been nice in a scene like this, but it's arguably much better without. The shots of the Texas landscape accompanied by the sound of long and quiet winds also creates a very similar effect. While it makes everything seem more beautiful, it yet again creates the same feeling of desertion. The viewer has more time and attention being spent on the ambient environment rather than the music being paired with the film. You can hear every step, every door, every squeak, as the characters traverse each scene and every sense is heightened as the film continues. In another scene when Chigurh is following Lolan at the El Paso Motel and takes out members of a local Mexican gang, the whole scene is characterized by its complete silence. Between Lolan silently removing the case from the air vent with it loudly squeaking on the way out, and Chigurh quietly and slowly moving into one of the rooms with his signature shotgun, while all being done in the middle of the night, the scene works well without any musical notes. It's dark and it's isolated. There's not a soul in sight of the hotel. Each small noise, footsteps, doors squeaking, even the subtle noise of the hitman's gas tanks slowly making contact with the concrete outside amplify the nature of the clip further and further. 
And when Shigeru goes in for the very bloody kill without any hesitation, it shocks us while we're expecting it at the same time. Had there been a slowly crescendoing suspenseful track in the background, yet again it would not have been the same. We're left on edge the entire time, yet again, even when we know exactly what's coming our way. The nature of No Country for Old Men arguably necessitates the lack of a proper musical track, however. It's meant to be a grossly realistic film. There's no crazy, mind-blowing action sequence where the good guy beats the bad guy and comes out victorious, or something insane manages to save the day. It's a movie about a seemingly random man, with two million in cash, as he's being chased down by a deeply disturbed individual and a violent gang. We see Chigurh kill random people across the way with a complete disregard for human life by the hands of this character. And yet, unlike most films, the value of each death is genuinely amplified to the audience by their abrupt nature. It all feels significantly darker than had the movie been directed otherwise. Are you going to shoot me? That depends. Do you see me? And the way everything ends for each main character solidifies this point. The Mexican gangsters are killed, Moss is randomly found dead in the motel room, not even owing his death to Chigurh. Wells is shot in a hotel, and our hitman gets into a car crash and flees the scene. Each end is abrupt. They're not dramatic and emotionally powerful due to a loud track in the background. We just see death unfold as it is. No music. No added noise, just silence. All we hear across each scene is the ambient sound that is swiftly interrupted by gunshots, which then die out into the background. We hear the noise of passing cars, the outside environment, planes in the sky, people walking. Simply put, this film doesn't need music. The same can't be said for all films. Certain movies not only have a great additional track, but use them very well to their advantage. And yet, Picturing the 2007 classic with music on just doesn't feel right. Something this grimy, off-putting, and disturbing requires complete silence.